If you're following Depp and Hurd and events after Virginia up to now, you might know that Amber had a little injury on her leg not so long ago. But the thing is, what's being said is, it looks like she's actually really fine and it's possible that this injury didn't actually happen. Coincidentally, it happened around the same time that Johnny had an injury, an actual injury, and it's been known that Amber copies and mimics what he does. So let's see what we got. The post is from Arwen Sparrow. Shout out to that person. It says, when the paps you called get shots of you forgetting about your injury. Beatrix Kiddo says, so she's not running the New York Marathon in one month then. Because her story was she got injured training for a New York Marathon, which was a little bit strange if you ask me. Late Mama says, that's why the photo shoot to show everyone she is still injured. And Sato says, but she's not. No surprises there. And Laura B says the crutch is her new victim prop. Here we see one with her sister Whitney, and it looks like Whitney's kids and Amber's daughter. All right, not much to see there. But I will mention, unrelated, that some people think that Whitney is actually starting to look like Kathy Griffin. They probably have similarity in ideology and things like that. So, okay. Here's one more where she's carrying her daughter, who's no longer a baby. So, her daughter's kind of heavy at this point, but it appears she's walking fine. And this one says from the Daily Mail, Holding on, at one point she was seen squatting down despite her injured foot to be at eye level with her daughter. We got some memes like this. I remember that movie. I get it. Shame that Miracle Amma Cream doesn't work on her feet. All right, you get a heart. Heart 99. The usual clown gif. And here's the article that this thread's based off of from the Daily Mail who recently fired Dan Wooten. Exclusive. Amber Heard spotted walking with a crutch while carrying her daughter as she joins her sister and family in Madrid. Now, some people might be wondering, what are we talking about here? Why are we still following this woman? Well, the thing is, there are still people like Kat Tembarge and her friend Eve Barlow defending her. So if they're not stopping, I don't think a lot of us are. But furthermore, even though you did win the big case, you still want to make sure that people know you were right. And this shows, well, she might not be exactly the honest person certain people think and say she is. Her whole story about the New York Marathon is pretty flimsy, and this hurts its credibility. They talk about the marathon here. They do state it as a fact that she injured while training for the marathon. Okay. They talk about her clothes. I see Elon Musk there, but I'm not getting into it because it's not really related. And in certain words, looks like they say she was being a good mother. So, the Daily Mail, here's what I think. They're not actually on Amber's side, but they've got to say this stuff so it doesn't look like they're trying to say something negative. That's my gut feeling. I've been trying to figure out why they talk about what she's wearing and this and that and give her compliments. And I think that's a cover for them. I mean, if I had a publication that didn't rely on certain celebrities and I had a wide scope to write about, I wouldn't want to get in trouble just writing about this, but I would want to print it. And the best way to do that is to have these fluffy articles and everything, but show the pictures and people connect the dots for themselves like you see on X here on that thread. Let me know what you think in the comments, doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. Before I go, here's a shout out I missed. Die for JD, been supporting here 29 months. Thank you so much. It's a big help. You are appreciated. And if you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.